Okay, we're out here getting down on the Ohio River, getting ready to find the ghost ship. We're coming out of uh, Tanner Creek now. Down to the right, we got Aurora way down there. And looking to our left, see some fishermen out here at the INM power plant where the uh, outfall is. And we're going to head on down past these uh, barges and tugs where they're tied up unloading coal. Actually, there's a load of coal coming our way, so we'll get out here to where we can see that tug as it passes. Okay, we're up here pretty much closer to this uh, barge. Looks like it's uh, three wide and four deep. It can take as many as uh, five deep. More uh, fishing boats just passed, including a jet ski, and here comes two more. And those are uh, making some waves coming my way, but also we got the outflow from this end of the power plant, so that's making the current a little bit faster. So I got to come out from behind these pylons and go over in front of this one. Pretty soon I'm going to take a little uh, the geocache program and check and see where I need to cross the river to find the ghost ship. Okay, right here we're in the process of crossing to the Ohio side, the Kentucky side. Uh, down this way you see the 275 bridge. And according to my geocache coordinates, there's supposed to be a creek over here on the other side, which I cannot see yet. We've reached the Kentucky side now. Took a uh, geocache coordinate reading. It says we're about four-tenths of a mile from the uh, ghost ship. So we're going to need to go on up toward the river here, up, up river. And from here, you can see Hanline Chapel steeple sticking up in the air. And you can see a full view of the uh, power plant down here. Still no signs of the uh, ghost ship. According to geocache, we're about 0.2 ten or two tenths of a mile away. You know, the geocache software indicates we're about a tenth of a mile away. And up here on my right, I see a little inlet, which hopefully is going to be where the creek goes. We've just hit bottom uh, with the uh, Hobie Mirage Drive. I need about 18 inches of water to use it fully. So at this point, I'll, I'll be tethering where I just let it go up and down a little bit. And yeah, we're going to continue on down this path until we see something that looks like what we're looking for. I found it and I'm getting ready to head back. The uh, river's a lot calmer right now. I've seen about four barges while I've been here. And I'm headed right back there into the sun, into the glare, so I can't even see where I'm going right now. 